here's what the symbol editor looked like before the most current update. I hadn't updated the app on this iPad yet, so I wanted to document what we're missing. See how whenever you had a person and it automatically pulled up these skin tone options and it was just so much easier to be able to tap and, and do that. And now, while I like a lot of the new symbol editor features, you're missing this. Surely there's a way or should be a way to incorporate what you're seeing here along with the new stuff. All right, so as a comparison, in the most current version of TD Snap, which as of yesterday is now version 1.34.1.4.1, if I go into edit mode and I wanted to add something new, um, whenever you go to a symbol that, um, let's see, let's think of one. All right, so you could choose among the options here, nice diversity to choose from. But say maybe I like a particular symbol done, and now I'm gonna go into the paint can. We no longer have that nice area along the left-hand side where I could have chosen different shades of skin tone easily for the symbols that involve people. So yes, I know you still can in, set a skin tone globally within the system. And I just showed you where you can look for different skin tones of the symbol itself. But we used to have what I just showed earlier where once you picked a symbol, there was lots of skin tone shade options and it was just so much easier. What happens now, if I wanted to recolor this, I would tap there, tap here, and you can choose but see how it leaves like a line on her ear? It's just not ideal. I miss having that simple, very simple, when editing an individual button that you could choose among the skin tone options. Um, please, Toby Dynavox, board maker, whoever's listening to this, <laughs> roll that previous functionality back into this so we can have it all in here. 